67IH Farmer here bringing you a tool review of a Harbor Freight, uh, Pittsburgh Pro, side cutters, dikes, whatever you want to call them, and cobalt. These are the brand new side cutters. And then vice grip, Irwin vice grip compound leverage, the power slot side cutters. So let's first start off with these Harbor Freight ones. Move we'll them off to the side. I really like these ones for uh, junkyard. That's what I use them for. I don't like to take good my good tools to the junkyard because I might lose them in a, a car there in the yard or something and lose 50 bucks. However much that tool is. Let's bring that light over here see a little bit better. some JV weld. These uh, cutters aren't very sharp. They're sharp from the factory. They're not very tough either. Let's put the light in the background. You can see light through the cutter even though it's closed. And that's just from light duty work cutting wires and not cutting anything particular. So this is the cobalt. They got a little bit here in the bottom, but the rest of it's pretty good. And then for the Vice Grip brand, they're about the same, but I use these ones to cut bolts and stuff. That's after cutting bolts. These ones are ones for the junkyard. I don't use them for anything else. And occasionally, if I know I'm going to be doing electrical stuff at the junkyard, I'll take these with me. I have two pairs. Of these. Well, I had two pairs. I gave one for my father. And I got a replacement for the one I gave my father. Because I broke a pair of his side cutters. These ones, really comfy handle. Good all purpose tool. It's not uh, too expensive, it's about 15 bucks. And this one's four, four something after a coupon. It's somewhat comfortable to hold. I think this one's a little bit more comfortable. I think this one's the most comfortable out of them all. And then this one, the rubber grips make it look like it's snap on, but it's really not. And then we got the Irwin Vice Grip. These ones can be kind of cumbersome. They're, they're a lot bigger. And then they don't the jaws don't open up as far. Like you open it up with your hand there and it barely opens a jaw because it's compound. Like this one you open a jaw twice as much. But then you get twice the leverage or whatever with this too. This is rated to cut hard wire up to three millimeter thick. So let's try this on some wire. So I got some 10 gauge wire. If I can find the end to it. So here we got some 10 gauge. We start out with a Harbor Freight. There's a cut for that one. Not very nice. They cut it though. And here is uh, cobalt. That wasn't very good. I got in a hole or whatever that this has. Which is another downfall of uh, these cobalt players. I could have done a better job. So you got the cobalt, and here you got the Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight ones look like it, I don't know, ripped it a little bit more than the cobalt ones did. And here's another one vice grip. I 
Like nothing. I didn't have to do nothing. Cut it clear as day. But those are, that's just some wire. Let's test something real. So right here I have some um, Phillips head deck screws. There is no way I can I can tell you right now. There's no way you're gonna cut this with these Harbor Freight ones. You squeeze it all you want. There's no cutting it. I'll give these ones a shot. So let's try cutting a Phillips head screwdriver with the cobalt side cutters. Put enough force in it, I know it's going to cut it. Let's turn that 90 degrees. Cut the other end of it. I can definitely feel digging in. <laughs> 